Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is setting up a very basic Apache web server and then securing it with a SSL certificate. There are numerous reasons you may want to do this. It might be a prerequisite for some other application or service you're trying to run, or my personal favorite, you might be trying to build and host your very own static website, whether if you're building it yourself or using a generator such as Hugo. So without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and dive on into the tutorial. And down below, I'm gonna have a link to this guide right here on techcut.tv that goes over everything that we're gonna be doing, including all the commands that I will be using. So with that, the very first step that we can see up here is to get your VPN and domain name set up. I am gonna be using Linode as they did sponsor this video. You can use really any VPN provider you would like to, but if you go ahead, go over to linode.com forward slash tech hut, you could go and get yourself a hundred dollar credit to get started today. So I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. And to go ahead and get started, all we're gonna do is click create, create a new Linode. And here you could choose whatever distribution you like. I personally prefer Ubuntu for my server, so I just generally go with the latest LTS version. Region, choose a server that is closest to you or your target audience. So for me, it'd be something like California. And for the actual plan, what we're gonna do is go ahead and go with the Nanode $5 plan here. You can upgrade if you need to, but due to this being just a static website, this right here should be more than enough. Now down here, you can go ahead and give it a label. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. You can add tags, give yourself a strong root password. If you do have SSH keys, you can set it up right here. Doing this is definitely good for security sake, but we're gonna ignore that for now. You could set backups if you'd like to, and from there, you just go ahead and create your Linode. Now, in order to save some time, I've already created a Linode, this right here, sub to Tech Hut, something that you should probably do. And once you have your Linode created, this is the dashboard that you're gonna get. We have some SSH access, we have our IP address, and a bunch of stuff like that. Now, when it comes to setting up your domain name, it's pretty easy. Right here, we have our IP address, just gonna give that a copy. And you could go over to your registrar, such as Namecheap. So for example, here's my account under the hopkey.net. Right now I'm actually using Linode's domain manager, which I'll show you in just a minute. But all you would need to do is go over here to advanced to DNS and then add your A records here. Since I'm doing this on the node, I could go ahead and close this out, go to Linode's domain name manager, head over to hopkey.net, and then under A records here, I just go ahead and add my primary IP address as the root, and now that will be linked up to that Linode. And of course, you could also do this as a subdomain as well if you would like to. I didn't really dive too much into this, but I will leave uh, links down below to some documentation to help you go ahead and get that set up. So with that, let's head over to our sub to tech hut Linode and go ahead and get this set up. So first things first, under access here, we have SSH access. We could just go ahead and give this a copy. And with that copied, what we could do is go ahead and open up a local terminal. So for this case, I'm just gonna open up the uh, Microsoft PowerShell here. And here we go. So let's just go ahead and paste that on in, SSH root into the server. Hit enter, this is our first time logging in. So it's gonna make sure that we are connecting to a host that we're aware of, we just created it. So I'm gonna say yes type in our root password, hit enter, and then we are now in our Ubuntu server here. So now we're just gonna do some initial setup stuff to get this server ready, and the best thing to start off doing whenever you first log into a server is go ahead and update the thing. So we're gonna do apt update and apt upgrade, and we'll just go Y to say yes to that. And depending on how old the image is that they use, this may take anywhere from a couple seconds to a couple of minutes. All right, we're at 98%, so it should be finishing up. Didn't really take too long at all, and it does look like there's a new kernel available. Restarting the system will load the new kernel, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter for okay. And for now, I'm just gonna go down and hit okay for this. We'll reboot the server in a minute. Before doing that, let's go ahead and edit our host name. So you can see we're at localhost here, and what we're gonna do is match that up to what website we're gonna be hosting from our server. So to do this, we're just gonna want to nano into our Etsy, and host name a file here, so hit enter. You can see it's localhost, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that with our domain, which is going to be hopkey.net for this instance. Uh, control O to output that and exit out. Now we're gonna go into our hosts file, so same location but hosts. And now right here, we're gonna go ahead and add a new line. Hit enter, and we're gonna copy this kind of. It's gonna be 127.0.1.1. Hit tab on your keyboard, and then again, type in the domain name you're gonna use. Obviously, replace hopkey.net with what your actual domain is. Control O, enter, Control X. And now with our host change, we're gonna go ahead and add a limited pseudo user because doing everything from root generally isn't the best idea in the world. 
So to do this, just type in add user, and I'm gonna add the user Brandon. You could call this whatever you want, whether that be the website you're running, a specific service. But for me, I'm gonna go with Brandon. Here, it's gonna ask me to create a new password, make sure it's strong and secure. And this information here, you don't necessarily have to fill out unless if you're gonna have multiple users. So I can just hit enter to go ahead and skip through all these. Information looks correct, hit enter. And now I want to go ahead and add that user, Brandon, to the pseudo group so it can execute uh, root commands, hit enter. And then from there, if I want to, I could go ahead and switch the user to Brandon. And now what I'm gonna do is actually disable root login via SSH. You don't have to do this, but it's a pretty decent security precaution. So I'm gonna do sudo, I have to type that now that I'm not the root user, uh, nano. And this is gonna be an Etsy SSH and SSH DE underscore config, hit enter type in our password. And now if we go ahead and find the permit root login, all we need to do is switch this to no, we do not want that. Output that and exit. And now we can go ahead and actually restart this daemon. So if I go sudo system CTL, I'm gonna restart SSHD, hit enter. Of course, make sure you don't have typos, hit enter. There we go. And now at this point, we can actually go ahead and reboot our server. So I'm just gonna type in sudo reboots. We're doing this so it reloads the kernel, any updates needed, and it'll go ahead and change our uh, local host or our uh, host name for us. So hit enter, and now you can see the connection is closed. So that might take a little bit to reboot. One good thing about Linode, if we jump back in here and open up our Lish console, this is a uh, live console, so you can actually see what the server is doing prior to boot. So for example, right here, you can see our Linode isn't running. And there it goes, we can see some GNU grub, and now we can see the actual boot process is starting. And then when you see a login prompt here, you know we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, go back over to our PowerShell, and just to show you that root isn't working anymore, if I go up one, try to log in as root, you can see permission denied. So it's not even gonna let me do that. I'm gonna control C to cancel out of that. I'm gonna change over to my new username, type in my password, log in, and you can see we are good to go. So now at this point, we can actually install and begin the initial configuration process for Apache. So here, what we're gonna do is a sudo apt install, and we're gonna grab a couple packages. We're gonna grab Apache 2, of course. We're gonna grab Apache 2 docs, as well as the Apache, Apache 2 utils. So from there, let's hit enter, type in our password. Whoops, I think it's just docs. So let's go over here. Boop, bam, and there we go. That's looking a little better. Let's continue. And the installation process is complete. So from there, we can use a uh, system CTL command status and Apache 2 just to see if it's running. So hit enter and you can see the service is now active and running. That's good. So at this point, let's go ahead and open up our web browser and make sure that it's working on our IP address. So if I copy that, open a new tab and I head on over to our IP address, we can see the Apache 2 default page. And if you went ahead and set up a domain name, you could actually check that now as well to make sure it's properly linked over to your Linode IP. So we can see hopkey.net is also showing the exact same thing. Now that is just our default site. It's not configured all properly. So first things first, I'm gonna actually go ahead and just disable that default site. And then in a minute, we'll go ahead and create our own directories and configurations. So to disable it, we're just gonna do sudo a2 for Apache 2, dis for disable, and site, and we're gonna go with 000. If I hit tab, that's only one, so it's gonna be the default configuration. Hit enter, and you can see to activate a new configuration, we can use this command, so I'm gonna go control C, paste that right there, enter. I should have ran this as sudo, so I'm gonna type in my password, there we go. And now at this point, we're gonna do some firewall stuff for some added security, and then allow specific applications through it. So first, let's go ahead and type in sudo ufw, which is gonna be our firewall, app, list, and this is gonna list the available applications for our firewall. So let's go ahead and do sudo ufw allow, and then the very first one we're gonna allow is Apache full. So this is gonna to need to be in these, Apache full, hit enter. We can see the rules have been updated, and additionally we're gonna go ahead and allow open SSH. So hit enter, rules have been updated. And now that those are allowed through at this point, we could actually sudo UFW enable to enable the firewall, hit enter. And this may disable SSH connection. Since I allowed this, it probably shouldn't. So we're gonna go yes, hit enter, and the firewall is now active and enabled. So to go ahead and check up on everything, we could do sudo UFW status, enter. 
and you can see the firewall status is now active and we went ahead and allowed Apache full as well as OpenSSH. So now it's at this point that we could actually have a little bit of fun. Let's go ahead and create the directories for our website. And by default, this is going to be located in the var, var, www and html. Hit enter ls to see what we're looking at here. We have our initial index HTML, which is the document we saw earlier in the web browser. So from here, we're going to make our first directory and this is going to be hopkey.net. So I'm going to do sudo mkdir for make directory and this is going to be hopkey.net. Let's hit enter. If we ls, we can see it. So now we can cd into that new directory. And now from here, we're going to go ahead and create our public HTML. So sudo mkdir public underscore HTML, hit enter. And then we're going to do this again for our log folder. So log, enter. And then we're going to do this for our backups, just like that. So now at this point, let's go ahead and make our new configuration. So to do this, we're going to want to CD back into our Etsy, but this time let's go to Apache 2, hit enter. If we LS, we could see a couple different options here. We're going to go to the uh, sites available folder right here. So CD into sites available LS, and we can see that initial uh, default configuration there. So what I'm going to do is make a configuration for our new website. So to do that, we're going to do sudo nano, and the name of the file is going to be hopkey.net.conf. Again, obviously you replace hopkey.net with whatever you're using. Hit enter, and now we have a new file here. So at this point, this is a little longer, so I'm not gonna type this out, but let's go over to our little guide we have here and scroll on down until we go to this right here. This is the configuration. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And I can see some little things I'm gonna have to fix in this. So I'll make sure and fix that before the video goes up. But we can minimize this. If we just give a right click, it will paste everything on in for us. So now we just need to change some things to match with what our actual website is. One of the things I notice is right here, logs. So we're gonna get rid of the S because the folder we created is just called log. And then right here, we're gonna replace all the instances of example.com with our domain. So let's go up over hopkey.net and hopkey.net. Do the same thing over here. I'm not gonna be using a www alias. You can if you want to, but I'm just gonna do like that. And same thing right here. And then of course, put in an actual email address for yourself. TechHut.tv. Perfect. And actually right after I saved it, I noticed there's actually a couple more things. So it's missing the HTML directory. So we just add that here, there, and there. So that all should work fine. So let's go ahead and control O, output that, control X. And then from there we could do sudo A2 for Apache 2, but this time we're gonna do in a site for enable the site and enable hopkey.net. Hit enter. You can see the site is now enabled. So we're going to reload our configuration by copying this, but running it as a pseudo user, paste that on in, hit enter. And then we could see that there are no issues. So now at this point, we can actually test this out by opening up a new tab, going to hopkey.net. And this time, instead of the default Apache page, we'll have index of because there's nothing in our public HTML folder as of yet. And actually, if we wanted to, at this point, you go ahead and actually drop your uh, Hugo files, your static site files, whatever you want in there. But just for demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and CD into that directory. So that's var www.html and then hopkey.net ls. Let's go into our public HTML folder. And now at this point, I could run a sudo nano and then let's do index.html. And here, let's create a very basic HTML website real fast. So head, title, we're gonna call this new site, close that out, close out the head, and then make a body. Let's do this as a heading one. Welcome to hopkey.net h1. And then let's add a, a line break here the best site in the world. There we go, that's looking like a good website to me. Let's control O, output that, control X. And now if we reload our website, boop. Welcome to hopkey.net, the best site in the world, new site. So there we go, we technically have our website up and running. That's all you really need to do except right here, not secure. Your connection to the site is not secure. 
That is not good and that will discourage a lot of people from visiting your website. What we need to do is add an SSL certificate, some more information on that right here. What it does is authenticate the website's identity and enables a encrypted connection between the web server and web browser. I'm just gonna give this a copy here, save myself some time. This is going to install uh, all the packages we need for CertBot, which is going to give us a SSL certificate. You can see everything it's gonna go ahead and grab. Let's go yes, and there we go. So now at this point, we can give ourselves a certificate by typing in sudo CertBot. Make sure you type it right, and dash dash. This is going to be Apache dash D for the domain is going to be hopkey.net. When you hit enter from here, it's going to run you through some information. First, we're gonna have to type in our email address here. So let's go techhunt.tv, hit enter. Do we agree to the terms of service? Yes, of course we do. And now this is asking us if we want to go ahead and give them our email address. I've already done this before, so I'm gonna say no for now. And now it's gonna go ahead and request the certificate. And if everything is good and set up and your website or your domain name has completely propagated, you should get something that looks like this. Successfully deployed your certificate for hopkey.net. Gives you some information on where the specific configuration is and all that. But if we go back over here, go to our new site and hit refresh, you can see now the connection is secure. We have a valid certificate issued by a trustworthy authority. So with all that, big thank you to Linode for sponsoring this video. Again, $100.60 credit down below as well as links to everything else we mentioned in this video, including that full guide and all the commands for everything we just have done. With all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.